Today on America's Court with Judge Ross. They've been looking forward to, uh, to coming to talk to me, but because I was dating a okay, mother. Now, Your Honor, I would like to know what tenants were complaining. In I his can assessment. only deal with one person at a time. In my courtroom, it's about equity and fairness. Stop. Is that true? I don't want you to understand. I want you to overstand. Yes, sir. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Justice should be more than just some foreign concept. I actually want you to learn something. That's not gonna happen. Not up in here, not today. And boom goes the dynamite. Fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Christina Alwyn claims her landlord was upset that her mother stopped dating him and says he made up false grievances in order to evict her. Ms. Alwyn is suing Darren Olu in the amount of $3,098. All rise. Remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties, Ms. Warren, Your Honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. <laughs> Ms. Alwyn, prove your case. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Today I am suing my former landlord because of harassment. He had sent me an eviction notice shortly after my mom had broken up with him. How long were you in the apartment? I was there for six months. You were there for six months. And I know I see the name here, sir. I'm, I'm going to ask you to help me out. Is it Olu? Olu. Olu. Darren Olu. And where is that? Where are you from, sir? Nigeria. You're Nigerian. Yes. All right. And so you had a relationship with Miss Alwyn's mom? Yes, for about a year. For about a year? Yes. And did that factor into you allowing her to rent the apartment? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Why do you say absolutely? You wouldn't have rented it to her otherwise? Well, because I was dating her at the time, and she actually asked me if I have any uh, units in my property. Okay. And then to gain her affection more, you know, I'm looking. So All I right. said, okay, this will be a, a, oh a, a good this chance. This is a, a better way to get a in. A better huh? way to get in, you know. Right. And so I let her in. And Did you have any reservations about Miss Alwyn moving into your property? Not really, because um, the mother is really good, you know. I'm, so I said, okay, <laughs> thinking mother really like, <laughs> like mother like oh. daughter situation. So I'm thinking it shouldn't be a problem. If she's exactly. Thank and you. was it a problem? Oh, you know, uh, <laughs> what was it? Oh, I, I, I'm oh. here to live my American <laughs> dream, but I was living a problem. different dream. You were living a different dream. Yes, sir. What made it a different type of dream for you? Because sir? since she moved in, she violated all the policies. She you was playing the loud first music. Policy. Tell me the first, first policy she violated. You mentioned something about music. She, she was playing loud music, playing some Taylor Swift. She's always shaking something, <laughs> going around oh. in the hallway. And uh, she right, also- so loud music was one. What else was there that she did? Then she brought in an air conditioner, a portable air conditioner. Did and you bring in an air conditioner? I did, Your Honor. And he knew about the air conditioner. We had dinner at my house. He said nothing about this air conditioner. Did you have dinner inside her apartment? Y yes, I did. Was but the air conditioning in? The air conditioner was on, and the whole place was cool. Again, because of her mom, I let it slide. Because but if Your Honor, Your, <laughs> so your, your Honor, your, your Honor, uh. your, your Honor, the text, the text sir, she sent to me sir, was... Sir, you started by saying... Whoa, once she got in there, it was a whole different thing. And you talked about the music. Okay. There's no dispute. Are you disputing that you were playing some Taylor with a little I've too had loud? friends over, but Your Honor, okay. my, so my neighbors concedes. never had a complaint about it. She concedes it. that maybe she was playing the music loud. Yes. You knew that there was an air conditioner. Did you complain about it when you saw it? Sounds like you did not because you were in there enjoying a meal in the company of the mob. But again, because I know she was violating the policy, but but did you tell I did, her? You I told her. I said that I was. I said I. I you did can you read tell, the text In message. other words, what I'm asking you is, did you tell her from a standpoint of you, that air conditioning has to go? Uh, not no. All right, give me another violation. Yes, sir. Is there sir. anything else that she was violating? When she's playing the music, she comes. We already talked about music. She keep she, up, keep up. She comes. She comes out with all her guests. Sometimes they're all in the hallway making noise and disturbing okay, other so tenants. So we talked about noise and we talked about the music. And, and did you record and document these different times mm -hmm. when that? Yes, happened? sir. Let me see. I'll say this. And ultimately, Thanks. what's your response to this issue of the music and late night guests? 
Okay. Disrupting the use and enjoyment for the other tenants. Hey, Your Honor, I have no complaints from the other tenants. The other tenants have never said anything. As a matter of fact... I don't know. I don't see a tenant here. Well, I, I have them right here. Their testimonies right here. Okay. Are they notarized documents? Yes, they are, Your Honor. Let me see them? Yes. Your Honor, she's making that up. After, the, after she left, the tenants were telling me that they've been looking forward to, uh, to coming to talk to me, but because I was dating a okay, mother. Now, Your Honor, I would like to know what tenants were complaining in I his I can only testimony. deal with one person at a time. Coming up on America's Court. She won't pick up the calls anymore. She will start coming over. She less. ghosted you. She started coming over less, and y'all know I'm getting older. I know a ghost when I see one. And later... You said, I'm going to give you a key to my place and come to your laundry whenever you want. I didn't give want. him a key to my place. That is it correct, was the Your Honor. laundromat service. That was he, that's what he was using. No, I get it. I, I just need to understand the dynamics here. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1-888-552-6878. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. America's Court is back with the case of Christina Alwyn, who is suing Darren Olu for $3,098. Uh, there are different dates, didn't take trash out in a timely fashion, played music loud. And, and who, Your Honor, tenant said that I Tenant came in late. Out? Why are you keeping track of the hours that the tenant comes in? What is this about a ladder hanging out of a window? That's fire violation, sir. So she had a fire violation? Yes, sir. She didn't take out the trash. There's a vi and After she had a party with all her friends, she just left the trash there and the whole place was smelling all in the hall hallway. What happened between you and mom? Uh, well, she's a great lady. You know, I'm single, thinking, OK, this will lead to something. I started investing over a year. And um, she, all of a sudden, I call her. She won't pick up the calls anymore. She will start coming over she less. She you. She started coming over less, and y'all know I'm getting older. I know a ghost when I see one. She went ghost on me. <laughs> she ghosted you. She, she went ghost on me. Mom ghosted and, him? And, and, yeah, she didn't want him because she wants my dad. And when, when I, and well, yeah. hold on a moment. Where was dad? So they've been divorced for since I was five, but my dad recently got cancer, and she's been taking care of him. I think we could both agree that my mom is a caretaker, and... She slowly fell in love with him and wanted to just rekindle things. And she didn't want to mess with Darren's emotions because we can clearly see he exaggerates and he's incredibly emotional. And so she was honest with him that she was going to move back with my dad and try to rekindle that relationship. While she told here. you she was going back to her. Your Honor, I invested so much into this woman. If she, if she, yeah. if a she full know, year. Oh. If, if, if you know how she backmouthed the, the ex-husband, and that was why she, Here's for what her I to ask even... you that you didn't answer. You answered everything but what I asked. <laughs> yes, sir. Did she end up going back to her ex-husband? Yeah, something did like... Tell, did she tell you that? No, she just said, I'm going back because some sick, sick, bogus, sick guy. Sick bogus. My and, dad and, and, with cancer, Your Honor. My dad with that's cancer. That's what she told me, you know, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I need you to come out, talk to, that, talk to me like an adult. If you really want to cut off and this relationship, do what it. What if she wants to be a child and say, I'm not going to talk to you, then what? Then I need to know. Then, then You knew because she, she ghosted you. You knew. She did. You're so right. Then, and then how long was it after that you uh, told her you were going to evict her? Then uh, the, the complaint came way more this time, so how I just did. How long was it? One month, time, Your Honor. One, about a month after. A month after. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, now that you don't have her mom in your life, I don't have her in her life. Go. Did she sign? Did you sign a one-year lease? I did sign. Our lease yes. agreement is actually in there as well, Your Honor. Yes, sir. You mentioned that there was something about the lease. That yes, the, the lease agreement, it should be in there. It, our lease was for one year, and the eviction notice was given to me in six months. You gave her a notice, non-compliance. Within three days, you have to remedy the following violation of your lease. Remove portable air conditioning, replace the blinds, need all belongings inside the apartment, maintain quiet hours. Mm -hmm. Is it truly non-compliance? if you acquiesced to the air conditioning? I think not. Is this a situation where there's non-compliance? I no, think not. not. I find it interesting that on the non-compliance, 
The last thing you put is maintaining quiet hours. But I don't have anything saying the tenant's name, what time it took place. I just have the log, tenant causing ruckus. Tenant didn't take out trash. Tenant played Taylor Swift. Is that sufficient for non-compliance? Well, Your Honor, is I think not. You voluntarily left. Yes, Your Honor. As opposed to fighting the eviction. Yes, Your Honor. Because I knew this was more than just these compliances. I knew this stems from him being broken up with my mom and there was just going to be more issues. The reason no, that I really. say that is this is really something that would go to an unlawful detainer eviction court. We don't have those issues present because you did not go through and follow that process. Mm -hmm. I also didn't want that eviction on my record, Your Honor, which is why I didn't want to go through that, but he needed to be told of like his actions and, and it was all mere harassment because I was not a bad tenant. Okay, not really. how is it that he harassed you? Well, with these threats, if I have not compliance Not a the threat, future. he gave you an eviction notice that you were within, within your legal rights to fight and probably win. Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, Gavel has to come down in favor of the defendant because this was not the forum to advocate your position. I understand going, oh, he's probably going to win. I don't want the eviction on my record. I don't want to go through the hassle. But when you know you're in the right, then you have to follow that. Because had I handled this case, you absolutely would have won. Your matter's dismissed. Case closed. <clears throat> All rise. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. Yeah, don't mess with foreigners trying to live the American dream. <laughs> I told you, nice. whatever. Well, Talk to the head. Talk you to won the this head. one, but you still yes. don't get my mom. Yeah, well, okay. she would. There are plenty of women out there. And I still have a chance to with bring this you this Coming up on America's Court with Judge Ross. Would you come by even when she, wa even when she wasn't there? No, yes, sir, that's that correct. Stop. She he says yes, you said no. Which is it? This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Anna Ahmed claims she gave her friend a key so he could do laundry at her apartment and says he left the air conditioner running for the six weeks she was away. Ms. Ahmed is suing Thomas Shule in the amount of $579. Ms. Ahmed, prove your case. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. My name is Anna Ahmed. Yes. And I'm here today to sue Mr. Thomas Schul for running up an air conditioning bill for $579 while I was away on vacation for six weeks. And this is in your house or apartment? It is in my apartment in Long Beach, Your Honor. All right, and your apartment is just occupied by you exclusively? Me and my husband, but we were both away. Okay, and how is it that you know Mr. Schul? Mr. Scholl and I go back uh, through our grad school days at Cal State Long Beach. Uh, okay. We met through a gaming club uh, for our love of gaming. And, um, and you guys just strictly platonic friendship? Absolutely, yes. All right. How did you end up being at her apartment when she wasn't there? Did you have a key? That is correct, Your Honor. She you gave him a key. Yes, Your Honor, and I'd like to add to that. that yes, please. He, Thank you. Um, he, the reason that was uh, the arrangement in the first place was because his apartment complex did not have a sufficient laundry, ser laundry service. And he needed a laundry service, and I knew LA is very expensive, and that's when it So became... rather than going to a laundromat, you said, I'm going to give you a key to my place and come to your laundry whenever you want? I didn't give want. him a key to my place. That is correct, it was the laundromat service. That was he, that's what he was using. No, on I get a, it. I, I, I just need to understand the dynamics here. Coming up on America's Court. And also left the AC on full blast, which kept running for six weeks. My husband is not happy with this, and it's just... I wouldn't be happy either. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. 
America's court is back with the case of Anna Ahmed, who is suing Thomas Schul for bad debt. Would you come by even when she, wa even when she wasn't there? No, yes, Your sir, Honor, that's that correct. Stop. She he says yes, you said no. Which is it? It's, it's a correct. no. Correct, I, I would go there because she gave me a duplicate key to use whenever Had I needed to Had he gone there in, in instances where you weren't there? Never, and that is the reason Stop. why. Had you ever gone there without her being present? Yes. Other than the incident that we're talking about here? Yes, Your Honor. I'm just gonna put it out there. She's married, her and her husband are having sex in their place. You just walk in, unannounced, and you're like, I'm just gonna come in here, have a bite to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. Well, I'd I've like never been there when they were having sex. That's not, <laughs> uh, that's just something I'm not aware of. Touche, all right. <laughs> My point is, if you, she's not giving you permission, you're a trespasser. And the issue was, you went there and she, and where were you? Were you just out of town or you Hi. just weren't there that day? Or? No, we were away on a vacation to Japan for six weeks, Your Honor. Okay, you're gone for six weeks to Japan. Did you know that, Mr. Shu? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, what happened as it relates to why we're here? Uh, as a result, he apparently went for a laundry mat uh, to use the laundry mat one day, which I need, which I know is the usual, which is okay. And then he went to my apartment and also left the AC on full blast, which kept running for six weeks. My husband is not happy with this, and it's just I wouldn't be happy either. Judge Ross's verdict when America's court returns. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Did I'm you leave the AC on in the apartment? I turned it on, but I thought I turned it off. The answer is yes. Yes, I turned it on. Did the AC stay on for an extended period of time? Because you knew that they were in Japan for six weeks, right? And you didn't return to the residence after that? No. No. So it ran for six weeks. So there's a bill when you run air conditioning nonstop for six weeks. Who should pay that bill? I know, I know, pick me. I'm thinking it's the person that turned the AC on to begin with from the jump. All right, anything else, sir? Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, the gal has to come down in favor of the plaintiff. She's entitled to be compensated for the five seventy-nine uh, and thirty-two cents. Actually, well, you just rounded it up to five seventy-nine, so that's what you'll get. But again, you feel that strongly that you shouldn't have to pay this money, sure. But for now, pay up. That is the order. Case closed. All rise. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $579. I'm really happy with the ruling, and um, I hope we can continue our friendship going from here. I can't believe you would do this to me. I would never sue you. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.